Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode Let's Play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo North, hopefully tie up a few, you know, loose ends that are left, and maybe even introduce a brand new animal today. So let's dive on in, and folks, as we do, as always, just like to say, if you've been enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue, Please don't hesitate to let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. It makes such a big difference to how I approach content on the channel and what content I pursue and at what pace. Uh, plus, I enjoy reading through all the comments. Y'all always have interesting ideas and thoughts, so keep sharing those. Uh, I always welcome long comments, short comments, eyes, hellos, you know, jokes. It's all good. I, I enjoy reading through the comments. Uh, I have some big plans coming up for the channel as well. Uh, through March and April, lots of, uh, hopefully lots of interesting things, so uh, keep an eye peeled for that. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, and uh, there's many reasons why people choose not to subscribe, but if you're not a subscriber, but you've been enjoying the content, and you've been enjoying Planet Zoo especially, and would like to see more like it, uh, might be time to maybe hit that subscribe button. Uh, just thought I'd throw it out there. Anyway, lots to do today. I'm not going to belabor our introduction for, you know, with, with, with an hour-long introduction. Let's get, uh, let's get straight to work. Now, first things first. Something a little special is uh, I, I got an achievement last session, uh, and now I forget the name. Uh, but it's the one that you get only when you have an animal that is 90% uh, plus genetics across the board in, like, all of the attributes. So I want to see what wh which animal that is, because apparently only 5% of players have that. 5% um, of players globally have that achievement. So I want to see which of our animals is the one that uh, took us to that um, to that to that level. I'm not I'm not sure not sure who it would be. It's like who was born uh, last session. Um, if we go to our zoo, if we go to our animals, maybe find the youngest animal. That might be a good way to do it. Oof, these guys are not having a good time. I'm going to I'm going to do this today. It's been a long time actually since we've done the uh, animal trading or uh, exhibit trading, I should say. So we're going to do a little bit of that, a little bit of management stuff to do. And then I want to dive into a time lapse sooner rather than later today because um, I, I really want to get a lot done. Uh, so let's see. Is it you? Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. How do I how do I mark you as a star? Well, I mean, I guess the best way to do it is to mark you as a star. I know I use. Well, actually, let's get rid of the, the, the brackets. Um, there. Now that's my, that's my, wow, wow, wow. We got to keep that in mind. We should clear out all the females and just have Searless and, uh, and, and some other, uh, ladies for, for him to make babies with. I mean, Walcott here's not bad either. Zane, how are you? Oh, Zane's really good too. This is a solid batch of babies. This is a solid batch of babies. I mean, let's, uh, okay, let's, let's, let's see. Um... Let's go with. I'm trying to figure out uh, like a like a grading mechanism, right? I'm. Um, I'm. Um, you know what? I think I'll, I'll just use what like. I'll use what um. What uh, like embassies and stuff do. These guys are all good. These guys are all good. There, A's and A stars. I mean, I I might start be paying a bit. Hey, Shakira. <laughs> um, I'm uh. I'm very pleased. Uh, I, I might start paying a bit more attention to, like, the breeding and stuff. That's something we haven't really paid super attention to um, along the way, but maybe it's time to, to start paying a bit more attention to that and, uh, and and being a bit more picky about which animals stay and which animals go. Anyway, sorry, I just wanted to find which animal was our uh, our achievement animal, and it seems that uh, Searless was the one. Of course, of course, of course we catch him while he's, uh, you know, not number one, but number two, I guess. Um, but yeah, awesome. 91, 91, 100, 100. Wow. What a what a specimen. What a perfect specimen. All right. Uh, so that's something that, that I got kind of distracted by when I was loading the game up. I was like, oh, hold on a second. Uh, I never checked what this uh, achievement was about. And now, uh, now we know. So let's go ahead and do our exhibit trading here real quick. Um, I believe I've got a bunch in storage already. Yeah, let's go ahead and quick trade, y'all. So it's empty. And let's take a moment to actually go, because the thing is, when you do it through the menu, like through the uh, zoo menu, you can only fill your storage area with up to 30 animals. Uh, and we've always seen how that works out. So instead, I'm going to do it this way, because this way I can actually go in and, uh, and and go past that number. Now, these guys are still very young, so let's go ahead, go ahead and stay to the Trade Center. I will mention also, um, we lost a lot of money last year, and I was remarking on that repeatedly, I think, last session. Or not last year, but I guess three years ago now. Uh, and many of you pointed out in the comments, rightfully so. 
Oh, we need a male lesser Antillian Iguana. Um, let's get rid of Mercedes, because she's getting old. Um, you'll point out that, right, we were paused. And, um, and when you're paused, you don't make money, but you certainly spend money when you're, when you're building. So, uh, oops. Right, that's why we were deep in the hole in, in year 100. Um, but that's okay, because right, right afterwards we started making money again. Um, so I'm not really worried about our financial situation. Again, I feel a bit, uh, reassured. So thanks for pointing that out. Don't know how I didn't notice, but, uh, oh, look at that. That's the most I've ever seen one of these get listed for. Uh, let's see. Javier. Hmm. Good stats. All right, let's go with, uh, Buddy here. Those are decent stats. Let's adopt you. Let's pop you right in there. Cool. There we go. And let's make sure we have you labeled as well. So again, like I said, a little bit of management stuff, a little bit of uh, checking in on the animals, uh, and then we're going to hop into a time lapse and then probably do a little bit more of this afterwards as well. So trying to, uh, trying to uh, again, nail that pacing, so to speak, uh, of uh, the order we do things in and, and, uh, and, and everything we do in a session, trying to... Uh, Find that perfect balance though, which is fine. I know it sounds funny if you know we're, we're over 50 episodes in trying to find a balance that's uh constantly shifting, ebbing and flowing as different things come to mind. Let's go ahead and pop all y'all away over here. We're definitely, definitely too many uh adults, I'm guessing. Yeah, man, they breed. I mean, saying breed like rabbits, I guess it's just because that sounds cute compared to breeding like beetles. These beetles, man. Um, actually, I think we need a couple extra there, so send, send y'all, there we go. 17 animals down to six. Oh, no, 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 not six. I don't want six. There we go. That should do the trick. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. And over here, we got a bunch of Goliath bird eaters as well, so gotta manage that. Perfect. And over here, I believe we're fine doing something like this. Cool, perfect. All right, wow, and that's just this section. What else have we got? We've got you guys, we've got down over here. We haven't actually kept our eyes on Tortugalapagos in a while. We haven't been here in a while, actually. It's weird to think about. I guess it's just, it's, it's been so long of, uh... Oh, we need a new male here as well, I think. Might, might as well just get him now, right? Might as well just get him now. Uh, it's, it's so weird to think how long it's been since we've, uh, we've come here and, and... And done this run of, of looking at uh, our, our exhibit animals. Because normally I do it, um, well, at a, at, at a certain time, oh, I can't adopt one. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, see, we get 52 in here as opposed to 30. 20k just sitting there. Wow. Yeah, there was a point when I was doing this um, every session, right? At the, at the top of every session. But that, that started to get a little tedious. Um, and then I was doing it every other session. And then I got to a point where uh, I just stopped doing it for... A little bit and uh <laughs> oops apparently there's just money sitting around doing nothing here um let's go ahead and get let's keep you two let's get you guys out of here there we go again inbreeding is not really a problem with uh with the um with the exhibit animals evidently it's not really a problem for them in the real world either uh or so i've been told so, fair enough. I mean, if, if, if it's not an issue, it's not an issue. So that's all that done, I believe. I always forget the one in Bagraba, the forest spider. The jungle spider? Forest spider? Jungle spider. Forest spider. Wow. Alright. Um, you're pregnant. You can stay. You're pregnant. You can stay. And then you're probably going to pass, pass away soon enough anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Hang on. What did I do there? <sighs> Didn't keep any of the males. <laughs> Party. What are you doing, man? Uh, well, maybe the babies will have males. Let's not spend money we don't have to spend, even if we have a lot of it. Um, oh, hello. Are you without power? No. Ah, this is the one. I was gonna... This is actually something I was gonna address today. Many of you pointed out two sessions ago that there were some education boards that... Uh, that there was an education board that had an issue in the elephant area. Uh, and I meant to check it out last session. Ultimately, didn't get around to it because, uh, just there was so much other stuff to do. So I was gonna check it out this session and, uh... Stumbled across it. Great. Awesome. Glad that's been... That box has been checked. Uh, now down over here, in this little underground cave of ours, let's go ahead and do the last couple of animals. Uh, hopefully, Gabella, we could get rid of her and, and buy a replacement. 
Diamondback, Rattlesnake. Let's go. Let's go. Cancel you. Diamondback, Rattlesnake. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. I, I don't know why that's still not alphabetical. Okay. Pop you in there. Good stuff. I guess we could label you as well. It's, it's, it's kind of stopped mattering, the labeling for the uh, exhibit animals, but consistency is nice, I suppose. Gotta keep the dad. Gotta keep a mom. Oh, we'll swap the dad out. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that. You are mom. Wow. That, that took a lot of effort to type. <laughs> and Raphael is the father. The dad, as it were. All right, now over here, let's go ahead and keep Bianca. And Eduardo's getting kind of old, so we'll keep Juan instead. Or, you know, let's get rid of Bianca as well. Juan and other Bianca can stay instead. <laughs> I wish the pool of names was bigger, for sure. There are, there are more than, you know, seven names out of every <laughs> part of the world. Oops, that's not the bracket I wanted. There we go. Cool, and then over here, we've got our... Scorpions. Oh, this is, this is going to be another big chunk of cash, isn't it? Another big chunk of cash. Let's do that. You're going to be the future mom. Looks like we stumbled upon good genes as well. Yaletha. And you, Yates, are going to be the father. Yeah, decent genes. Good stuff. And then the Gila monster. Up over... Nope, that's hopefully not where the Gila monster is. There we go. Up over here. Let's see. Uh, the mom can stay. The dad. Hey, I know they're 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 young enough. Let's go ahead and do that. Good stuff. Is that all of our exhibit animals? I'm sorry. I caught a glimpse of the baby bear. What a cutie. Oof. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, I believe that's all the exhibit animals, right? Because there's like no others. I wish there were. I wish the Arctic and 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 Asia and stuff had more. Uh, like China and stuff had more. Um, exhibit animals, but hey, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and trade all of y'all out. There we go. So that was what, 80 something for 35k is what we made. Wow. Wild. Uh, I also wanted to check our conservation credits. Seems to have popped up a little bit. So trade history. I can't, I wish you could look. Oh no, I guess it's my species. So let's go to any species. I want to see which of our trades went through. So Watkins and Noah went through, made us some good money. Waldo went through as well. So look, it looks like the 300s and 350s and 400s. That was not overpriced. And then Viraj we purchased. And then Pablo and Manuel and Miguel. These guys are from a couple sessions ago, right? Um, starting to lose track. Though it looks like at least... Oh no, none of them expired. So one thing that was mentioned in the comments is that I should really look into trading out some of our tigers. Um, because right now most of them are staying for like what's basically become a breeding program. And I don't disagree. I just have to figure out which animals to trade, which, which of the tigers to trade out and which ones to keep. Um, cause it really has gotten a bit, a bit, uh, overwhelmingly large, like Veer and Amira, great genes, right? Uh, Amrutha, immunity genes kind of low. Advaith, immunity genes kind of low. All right. So these two we maybe get rid of. Vedika and Syra. Syra's genes are okay. Syra could sire a good uh, set of babies, maybe. Um, so, I mean, I guess of the lot, of the new tigers, Syra is the only one that I'm, I'd be willing to keep. Now, the question is, Advait is injured. Where is he injured if he can't have babies? Jeez. Veer is inbreeding. Justin is okay. So, so Syrah can breed with Justin fine. Uh, so maybe we put the other tigers up for adoption. Except, so Amira, Veer, and Syrah can stay, and the other tigers go up for adoption. What do y'all think? Might not be a bad idea. We could release them to the wild, or despite the low immunity and stuff in in you know a couple of spots, I think we can make quite a bit of conservation credits from from these guys. Uh, from these guys and girls. So let me know what y'all think about that. Uh, it was brought up a couple sessions ago and I was like, yeah, or rather it was brought up last session in the comments and I was like, yeah, that that's true. So I, I got to figure that out. I really got to figure that out. And uh, I will I will take a look at your suggestions as to, uh, or, or your thoughts about my plan. Um, 
and then and then implement that I think next session. Go ahead and deal with this bison situation. What's the deal here? Which one of you is oh man, Yates. Longevity's a little low. And Jackson, Jackson's the alpha, size a little low. Um Well, I mean if Jackson's the alpha, then I guess Jackson gets to stay. He's asserted his dominance. 2,000 appeal, though, versus... Okay, you know what, Jackson? I don't know how you became the Alpha. I don't know how you became the Alpha. You should... Oh, Yates is really old, though. Can we rehome Yates? Yeah, let's, let's rehome Yates. He served us well. I'm not going to just toss him into the wild or trade him out or anything. He's really old. So let's rehome you. Ah. That's unfortunate, but I don't want them fighting when he's so old, and again, the ratio's wrong, so that's too bad. But it's the right thing to do. All right, so that's that taken care of. A little bit of fighting for Alpha is fine. Some issues over here, that's okay. Facility inaccessible. Oh, that's just because we're paused. Now, before I unpause, one thing I'm going to do is over here, folks. Some of y'all pointed out a variety of things. So, we do have an intendant over here. This shouldn't be the problem. Um, what might be the problem is... I'm going to just close and reopen this so I can close it again, no problem. Oh, you know what? Here's what we'll do. So let's go ahead and... If I just close you... And I... Place the exit. Okay, let's go ahead and place the exit... Over here. So the exit happens a little bit quicker. Um, and then we'll open you right away. Right, we have an attendant. It is connected. What I might need to do, though, is I, I might need to figure out how to get... People... I mean, the easy way to get people back without having to use a uh, ride is through there. I might um, make a connection over here or something. I, I want the ride to work, but if it doesn't, it doesn't, and I'll have to find another solution. Uh, so we'll keep an eye out on that this session, of course. Uh, but I think I'm good to hit play now. Ho hopefully, my edit's here. Well, actually, you know what? Let's, let's edit this one a bit further. Let's add this one a little bit further. Minimum rider load is a half. Yeah, okay, so I did change that. There was a comment that mentioned that as well. So that's a half now. Maybe let's get rid of minimum and maximum wait time and instead rely on the rider load. And you know what? We can block this station because people need the train to get out of here. Let's see how that works. And hopefully people won't be uh, upset <laughs> for, uh, for prolonged periods of time. Uh, let's go ahead and hit play. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, I will mention also, also uh, many of you mentioned with regards to um, the memorial. There was, a, there was a great idea that was thrown out there. Lots of ideas for, um, for how we might be able to... Um, uh, for how we might be able to uh, it, memorialize the individual animals and stuff. Lots of great ideas across the board. Uh, one that stood out as well was uh, to maybe get an epitaph up there, which uh, I like the idea of. So I might do that. What I'll do is the, the memorial, the next time we'll work on the memorial, I think will be during a beauty pass. Because otherwise, I'm gonna, honestly, I'm going to keep working on that. I'll, this is what I mean, right? Um, some things... Some things... Uh, some things are never complete. And that memorial is going to be one of those things that's never complete. So if we're going to make more tweaks to it and stuff, I think what I want to do is I want to uh, do those tweaks over um, time. Uh, rather than... Uh, Rather than try to finish it now, because let's be honest, it's it's going to take us some time to to take it to completion, to you know, like a full 100% satisfied completion. Let's be reasonable. Okay, we're fine over there. Let's go ahead and add. This is also pointed out that I forgot to put in security, so thank y'all. Put another one over here. I'm gonna put it a bit lower, I guess. But the one thing I I wish secure. I mean, I guess I can just hide it, right? I guess I could tuck it in. I wish you didn't. Um, which wasn't so big. I mean, I can always scooch it in like that. I don't know why people are coming up here. The view is nice, I guess. Um, Alright, so that's security over here where everybody goes. Down over here, we don't have any security, though. Let's go ahead and big brother this. Oh, no, up here. There we go. And then let's go ahead and get uh, one over here, perhaps. And then another one. Over here, and another one over here, if anybody tries any funny business. So that should be good enough for now, and then I, I probably, you know, actually, not good enough. Let's go ahead and get one up over here. 
The reason why I'm using this special placement tool is because I don't want it to attach to any group. There we go. There, so that, that should be decent coverage. I mean, there's still some blind spots, but maybe I'll just hire more security guards to, to help take care of that. Looks like people are coming up here finally. So, you know, having the, uh, the leopards has definitely helped, I would say. Um, and it looks like people are they're lining up fine. Let's see if they're able to get out of here fine. Where's our next train? There it is. It's going to make its way through. Just want to just want to investigate to make sure that this is working. And uh, we'll see uh, we'll see what uh, what needs doing. Now the inspector is here as well. I suspect our animals are mostly doing okay. Like let's take a quick peek over here Gajananda. You are very happy. Like the only thing I imagine will be low is yeah, enrichment. I I might need to do an enrichment pass today as well just to make sure our animals are all enjoying their toys and whatnot. There's a the train coming. And we'll see. We'll see how this works. We'll see how this works. Um, but yeah, so I, I might need to do that, but I don't know if there's time enough to do that as well. Because again, we got to get some, we want to get some work done, right? I just want to investigate this train. And after the train has been investigated, we will hop on into our first time lapse. I think that's my plan. Looking at my notes real quick. Yeah, I think that's my plan. All right, so you arrive. Doors open. There we go. Finally, relief relief and it didn't fill up now I get it that it's only waiting for its minimum load <laughs> these guys are not very happy um, but maybe we also need a minimum wait time of 60 seconds I mean it's not too bad and it should be enough time to get everybody on here I could just pick these people up and move them but I don't want to do that because they're obviously going to be refunds and I want to pay those refunds. It's only right that I pay those refunds. Anyway, sun is up. It's facing the right direction. The train is now working, though we've made another tweak to it. Hopefully that'll help it work better. Uh, I think it's time to dive into our first time lapse of the day. And based on all your comments and thoughts and, and feelings, uh, we I think it's a good idea, yes, to complete some of the things that we started and have left undone. Because otherwise, you know, you're coming to the zoo and you're seeing things like, you know, like this incomplete roofing and you're wondering when it's going to fall on your head and, and potentially end your life. So uh, I think we're going to go ahead and take care of this first. And and depending on how long that takes me, uh, we'll be adding another animal today as well. But folks, enough rambling. Let's, uh, let's get to work. It's time last time. All right, folks, I can confirm that there are going to be two time lapses today. This first one is definitely the longer one, man. I, I thought it was going to be easy wrapping this thing up. Well, not easy. I just thought it'd be, uh, you know, smooth-ish. Somewhat. It's not. <laughs> uh, farthest thing from it. It's, it's, it. It was fun, though. It's nice to finally put a bow on uh, some of these projects. They've been they've been sitting for so very long. Um, but uh, I, I, it's, it's funny, and I, I think I mentioned this a couple times this episode already, or I'm about to after this time lapse, but 50 episodes in, 50 plus episodes in, you'd think I'd have learned my lessons now. You'd think I'd have learned all the lessons there are to learn by now, but uh, but nah. Nah, he is, uh, it's, a, it's re real deep, you know, it tells you something about life. You, uh, you never stop learning, I guess, but uh, in all seriousness, uh, I don't think I'm ever <laughs> going to want to try and build something at this scale again. I mean, I say that. But the next time lapse is uh, is very much that um, another big scale project. It's a little different though. This is, I mean, I, I've realized that again. I think personally, maybe I just don't have a knack for uh, this kind of construction, um, the architectural style stuff. I mean, I really like how it looks, but um, you can see. I mean, you might be able to see my patience wearing thin every time I have to place a different sort of piece down. Uh, and and in, in all honesty, the actual, the, the bigger problem isn't the architectural pieces or anything like that. The bigger problem is that I decided to do something a little silly here um, with its with the weird proportions, the uh, non-straight lines and things like that on the building, which I really like. I think it's the right kind of whimsy to associate with, you know, Christmas and Santa's workshop and all that stuff. Uh, but the unfortunate thing is that it, um, it, it like... It, the game's not built for that kind of thing, so uh, it was a bit of a struggle, but it's uh, worth it, I think. Uh, you can see I finished the, the glass wall section over here, pretty happy with uh, how that looks, and I'm definitely glad to... I'm, I'm, I'm happy to keep it glass, I think it works a lot better, I think it looks a lot nicer as well when you walk in, it's really impressive. Uh, you can see I've adjusted Rudolph's positioning over here. That The inside looks very cultish <laughs> uh, with the uh, with the reindeers and whatnot, um, but yeah, then just... Uh, 
Got to do the roofing. Now, the roofing, um... I try a few different things. For one, the, the front, or the, the back over here, I guess, I, uh, I, I want to cap this off first because I just want to kind of get it done. I, I know how to execute this. I already have it in mind. But the rest of the roofing ends up being a bit of an adventure, and I think that ends up taking quite a, quite a bit of time um, because we explore a couple of options and things like that. And they, again, uh, these pieces aren't really built for this kind of uh, approach or... Uh, shape or form or whatever you want to call it so it's uh it's an interesting interesting adventure uh so here again i wanted to stylize this uh, end piece a bit more marry it a bit more with the arctic theme because it felt rather abrupt just suddenly becoming glass uh minus the you know the actual connection to the roof it was all just this weirdly modern glass compared to the rest of everything uh so i decided to put in those arctic pieces to uh, marry it all together and i feel like that really does tie it nicely um and it doesn't feel so out of place it, it, it Visually, um, I think it looks nice. I, I, I think uh, functionally, it's nice as well because people are able to see outside from that side, um, and it also, uh, I think it also um, matches our our initial idea. And now over here, you can see uh, it was recommended, strongly recommended, that I maybe break up the colors a little bit, too much red and yellow, and I don't uh, don't disagree. So I decided to go in and add a little bit of blue and silver. Apparently, that's a very common set of Christmas colors as well. I typically associate blue and silver with like Hanukkah. Um, but, uh, many of you in the comments, you know, several episodes ago now, were saying that blue and silver is a common color combination as well. So, uh, I mean, y'all know better than I do. I, I, again, Christmas isn't really something that, uh, we celebrate or anything. So, uh, it's all, it's all, you know, quote unquote foreign to me. So, uh, I, I, I take your word and, uh, we've implemented the color changes. Now over here, this is where things get a little, uh, uh, you know, tenuous, I guess. I'm, uh. Really trying to get the, uh, I try to do a variety of things. So first of all, I try to play around with more glass. I really like the glass at the end, and I was like, oh, you know, how about some more glass? Uh, that way you could see in from up high, you can see out from down low. It's like a skylight. Uh, it should look pretty nice. Um, and it was actually a reference that was given to me when we, when, like our first draft of the, uh, of the workshop way back when, when it looked terrible. Um, I'll be honest with myself, I didn't like, it didn't look very good at all. Uh, way back then, I received a suggestion that involved skylights, and I was like, oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I wasn't really working, though, so I was trying to play around with some other roof pieces. Uh, that wasn't really working either, and I keep forgetting as well, by the way, that uh, I wanted to keep the tree exposed. So I think you'll see me experiment with roofing on that side a few more times before I remember, oh, right, I want the tree to be open. And the reason why I want the tree to be open uh, is because I want snow to fall on it. I want natural snow to fall on it. I think it'll look nicer, I think it feels nicer. Uh, and sure, the uh, you know caretakers will have to be on extra mopping duty when that happens, but uh, it's okay, we, 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 pay, we pay them pretty well, I think. Um, I think. Um, but yeah, so uh, you'll see me play around with that a few more times. Over here, I did build a chimney above our solar panel. Many of you suggested that uh, as a good way to kind of like get that chimney in there, that iconic chimney, of course, uh, but also leave an opening for the solar panel so that it still gets sunlight. This is very unrealistic. I, I don't think... I mean, the solar panel, if it was uh, on a motor and it would actually turn to point straight up, and it was, like, very good at collecting, uh, charging its batteries for the, you know, 45 minutes that it would actually receive sunlight, then I think it works, but... It's never like that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, chimneys aside, I try yet another new thing. I go, okay, maybe there needs to be a texture break over here. So rather than j it just being the red plastic, uh, what if it's this like wooden texture with this nice pattern on it as well? Um, and you can see, oh man, just looking back at this, I uh, so much time uh, was was spent on this. But it's just like, okay, let's see if I can, I can iterate that curve if i have enough pieces that i can make that curve work really nicely and you can see like you know the the idea is there um it's not perfectly executed because this is like in its rough phase and i have to go in and finesse it a bit but the idea is there and it looks kind of nice um but it also looks very dreary and so gone out Oof. Uh, and then I realized, you know what, there's at least something that I can execute over here. Again, I, I've mentioned this before um, with how I approach any kind of uh, creative work. Uh, and I mentioned this only because, you know, maybe, maybe some of y'all want to approach things like this as well or find yourself in a similar position. But whenever you find yourself, or whenever I find myself stuck, struggling, I step away and I do something easy. Something that I know I can execute very easily. Because doing that... Um, gives a sense of like 
accomplishment that you completed something and that kind of rejuvenates the mind into like okay now let's go at that difficult thing again i find that works very well uh it's a good way to keep you you keep yourself uh going full steam ahead um especially when the fatigue starts to settle in which let me tell you it was anyway um with the glass attempt unsuccessful and the wood carved wood attempt unsuccessful it was time for me to go back to the original concept except do separation with color we'll do the color later um but first i wanted to go in and actually place these uh tiles now uh in the episode where we actually put the roofing down for the first time i believe i mentioned this but the issue was that i wasn't uh, again iterating enough i wasn't uh, uh using each panel to take me between two steps when i say iterate i mean uh let's say for example the bottom of the roof and the top of the roof are at different angles each tile between the bottom and the top of the roof should rotate and move a fraction of that difference so that it smoothly transitions from bottom to top um Unless I wanted to go for something a bit more ridiculous and abrupt, and now that I think about it, you know what, that would have been a lot easier to execute and might have looked a little fun as well, but hey, it is what it is, hindsight 2020. Um, it's the year of hindsight, I guess. But uh, point being, I learned my lesson last time, which is to say like three or four sessions ago, or maybe six sessions ago now, I can't, I can't remember. Actually, like 10 sessions ago, I think. Uh, but I learned my lesson, and... Uh, so you can see I'm uh, I, I'm 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 being a little bo little bit more wary uh, of my approach and uh, and I think it looks a lot nicer. I'm I'm actually really happy with the end result that you'll see. Uh, the green I threw in the green for a bit because again red and green traditional you know Christmas colors, um, but I just, I, maybe it's a bad green. I, I couldn't find a good green, so I went in with the yellow and I like the yellow because I mean this is a little too vibrant, so I go with like a more golden yellow kind of a thing. But uh, I like the yellow because it matches the gifts inside and so it makes the roof feel like it's uh part of that aesthetic and so it feels like it's a ribbon like the yellow is a ribbon um so i kind of like it i wonder if the chimney should be yellow as well to match the um i don't know we'll, we'll, i'll think about it uh but yeah so you know it's all coming together now there's like, it, nothing symmetrical here again because i decided to go with this whimsical kind of wonky structure um, and, and so nothing's really perfectly symmetrical. So I have to always, even when I duplicate, I go in and I have to finesse things. I do wish, and I saw one of you mentioned this in the comments, and I totally agree. I do wish the game had a mirror function. Uh, rotating is fine, but I want to be able to flip horizontally or flip vertically. Um, because that would save a lot of time when you're trying to build something symmetrically. I also wish I had symmetrical options. I mean, there's going to be future games from Frontier in this same vein. So I mention all this stuff only because, uh, you know, if someone happens to ever come across or ask for feedback or thoughts or anything then these are just my own ramblings that i can convert into uh, into words written words and, and, and send some over because there it's, it's a it's a very robust building system it's only missing those those couple of things that would uh that would uh make it absolutely like earth shatteringly amazing uh but yeah symmetry right it's like a lot of things are symmetrical if you had a little mirror function and maybe there is a mirror function that i don't know about and if there is oh my god please let me know but i don't think there is uh it would it would save a lot of time and uh, and effort but here you can see i uh, just kind of going in finessing each tile needs to be rotated and perfected and uh and moved and sh just shaped and shifted correctly um to get the right uh feel and overall i mean geez what seemed impossible the last time we were working on it now actually feels pretty good and i'm pretty happy with it uh it feels right. It's got it. It feels like the tiling thing that I was going for. It feels a little whimsical. It feels a little wonky. It's got, you know, I like how it overlaps and overlays, and it's it's right. It's feeling right. And now here, I think you'll see my last attempt. I think at roofing the uh, tree area. I can't believe I forgot. I <laughs> it took so much time needlessly. Uh, another thing I wish you could do is actually rotate the uh, construction pieces on all angles. But I've said that a hundred times before. Um, anyway. Yeah, I, 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 I decide to, oh man, I decide to roof this area again. And uh, again, things aren't symmetrical, things aren't, you know, perfect. So attempt number two of attempt of like, I don't know, this is actually the fourth attempt, I guess. This I actually spend a lot more time on than, uh, than I would like to because I was like, oh yeah, this is kind of working. You just have to nudge things around and finesse them. But I uh, uh, <laughs> actually have to go back and delete some of those pieces. I just realized uh, this side proved to be a bit of a struggle, so... 
I believe though that's the last thing I do in this time lapse is um, get struck by the realization that I'm not supposed to be putting a roof on uh, on the section. No, no, there's something else I do. Right, right. I just remembered. No spoilers. I'll uh, you'll you'll see. Uh, overall though, as we're you know getting to the wrap up point of this time lapse, just want to say I'm I'm happy with the uh, the overall structure. It was definitely a challenging one to do. It took many it took many episodes and many iterations. Uh, which I, I, again, if I sound like I'm, I'm upset about it, just to clarify, I'm not. I like the design process. Uh, I love iterations. I think that's well, that's what makes um, the journey interesting, right? When it comes to building these enclosures is like seeing how it went from one idea to another. And it's crazy to see just how different this looks compared to that first go back in December. Um... And it's, you know, it's the result of a few extra months of experience with the building system and whatnot. I think now I finally realize that, right, I'm not supposed to roof the uh, the end there. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a couple of things I do. Okay, yes, this was another great suggestion from the comments, uh, was to uh, to make the candy canes into little spotlights. Now, there was another suggestion that the actual pieces of the candy canes could be turned into uh, lights themselves, and I thought that was a really cool idea. Unfortunately, the right light pieces don't exist. The only cylindrical light piece is way too thin, so it loses that impact, unfortunately. But in that same vein, there was another suggestion of making them into spotlights, uh, and I wanted to experiment with both. This one works. So I got all these spotlights built in, a little unfortunate. The little piece there has to stick out, but I try to tuck it away as much as possible so you can't see it from up on high. And from down below, you know, you only kind of see it if you're right underneath it, uh, but otherwise it's mostly hidden. Um, and yeah, we, we uh, I try to make it a little dim. It's not dim enough, so we'll be dimming them after the time lapse. But uh, I believe that's everything. Um, oh no, how do, why do I keep saying that? There's one last step, and that's the tree. Do I move Rudolph's nose? Don't. You kidding me? Oh my god. I remember thinking, oh, I need to remember to move Rudolph's nose. Then I get so distracted by the tree that evidently I completely forgot to do it. I, I need to remember to do that. Someone can drop that in the comment down below so I can, I can, <laughs> oh no, um, whoops. I hear as well, you can see, I wanted to, uh, to get that tree in there and just get it all done, basically. Time lapse done. I think that's, um, I think that's that for the, uh, for the workshop. I mean, oh my god, it was a, it was a, it was a, oh, it was a bit of a challenge, certain parts, that's for sure, but, uh, Feeling pretty good about how it feels overall at the end. Ultimately, I went with the uh, red and yellow color scheme because it matches our, like, quote-unquote gift wrapping uh, inside. We could experiment, as you saw, I did a little bit with uh, the red and... What did I say? I went, I went with red and yellow uh, because it matches our gift wrapping on the inside, but I could go with red and green as well. Easy to color swap, so... Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe the, um, this is maybe too deep a green. I don't like a very... I, I don't want to go with a very vibrant green, though, because that's, like... It, 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 that's not right. That looks like uh, mint chocolate kind of green, you know. Um, but I do like the yellow ochre. Uh, not the bright yellow, because that's too vibrant as well. But the uh, it's kind of like brownish yellow, I think, goes uh, goes nicely. But, you know, let, let me know what y'all think. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this is feeling. It feels very on brand as well, so to speak, uh, with our Elite Zoo and the gifts inside. But... Uh, uh, again, you uh, you must, you, I mean, I, I must mention this during the time lapse as well, but I tried roofing this area as well, and then quickly realized that right was going to be a joke that the tree kind of pokes through, swapped it out with a festive tree, and I've got it poking through, and I think this looks suitably haphazard in that kind of like, you know, cartoony way. Oh, you know what? Oh, something I keep forgetting to do is that these guys are kind of floating here, and what I've been meaning to do for a while is, and I apologize this is happening... Uh, out of a time lapse, but I just want to get this done real quick. Uh, it won't take me very long at all, I don't think, if we go the Arctic theme wood here. Um, I really wish the uh, architectural pieces could be used for, um, like, could be placed as you kind of wish. Would have made such a huge difference to this build that we just did. There we go. So this should be strong enough to support the, um, the reindeers. If I get enough of these in, then physically... It'll look like an, an actually, like, you know, possible construct. I'm put you over here. There we go. And, oh, are you? Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. There we go. Oh, man, it's so wild to think this was something we started working on um, in December of last year. It's been, it's been a while. 
It's been a while, that's for sure. All right, there we go. There we go. I feel like that's uh, that's good. And we what we might need is some of these further ones. We'll need a little bit of physical, like structural support as well. Sorry. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this here. Not too many of them. Again, in my head, it's like this stuff is actually concrete, but it's you know covered with wood paneling to make it look the part. I, I don't think uh, I don't I don't care how big your wood blocks are. I, I don't think they'd be able to support something which is this far out. Uh, I mean, hey, I, I've seen some pretty impressive, uh, what are they called, cantilevers, I think is the is the term. Where you have, like, uh, where you're attached to one side, and then you extend out, what, like, a structure that's attached to, like, a wall but sticks out. And, and is supported only by that attachment to the wall. Cantilever, I think so. Anyway, that's irrelevant. What's relevant is, folks, I think we're finally done a little Winter Wonderland Santa's Workshop space. Um... I'm sure I, I didn't want to switch to nighttime. I, I don't want to deal with the game crashing right now. And when the game crashes, it crashes my OBS as well. So we'll deal with that. My that's my recording software. So we'll we'll deal with nighttime when it comes naturally. I think maybe. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and unpause. What's going on over here? Quarantine past three. Let's go ahead and unpause and um, get. Uh, I completely forgot that this was last session. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at our animal uh, happiness. And, uh, and maybe, hopefully, maybe we'll get another time lapse in where I can uh, get a new, uh, uh, get a new animal in. I, I hope to be able to uh, accommodate that, but uh, it, it might not be possible. I've been, I've been recording for a while, <laughs> and, and you know how I feel about uh, starting something new and tired. It uh, negatively affects. Wow, look at that lag. Negatively affects the end result, and that's never fun, right? So let's go ahead and uh, take care of some of these animals, see how many of them I can make happy before they get, uh, uh, before they get inspected, I suppose. Um, what am I looking for? Habitat, uh, Indian elephant, and we want some new toys. The mud bath is always a good option, I find. Go ahead and pop you down over there. And let's see, what are we, what are we looking at here? Enrichment, 71%. It's been a while since we've done this. The sprinkler, I, again, I wish you could click on these and get taken to them. Uh, I know I've said that a hundred times now, but always comes to mind. Where is the sprinkler? There it is. Someone's been in a box for too long. Probably a tortoise. Check you out. Oh, Symington, why are you, why are you in a box? A recent update would make the uh, animals unbox automatically, but I guess that doesn't always uh, happen. All right, what's going on here? Enrichment should be good. Yes, looks like we're 83%. That's pretty good. I mean, I could pop down this waterfall. I do like this waterfall. I could pop you down over here. There, now it's at 100%. Yeah, I can imagine the water trickling down into there. Cool. Um, so that's that. Let's go ahead and take a look at... I mean, we could look at every animal and just make them all happy. I want to make sure that our main animals that are being investigated or being inspected are happy est. Well, you're obviously happy with all your enrichment. You're a newborn. You don't care. Um, oh, it looks like they're pretty fine over here, actually. So that's good. That's good. Tape here. How are you all doing? We have a new baby here as well. Why are you feeding them here? Can you not reach that? That's so weird. Pretty happy. The plant screen is getting boring. So let's go ahead and swap that out for... A rubbing pillar tends to work well. If I could put it down. Weird. Oh, yeah, nope, there we go. It's, this, this terrain keeps changing based on, um, how many times I've had to modify their, uh, their toy up here. There, hopefully that's reachable. Nice to see the crowds over here as well. It's been a while since we've seen a crowd over here. Uh, 87% is pretty good. Can I reset this? There we go. Oh, that's why there's food in the middle of nowhere, because the feeder actually fell down. All right, all right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Habitat 24. We'll name this eventually when I finish it. So this isn't actually completed yet. Those of you that are that were asking, it's like, oh, hey, you know, is, is this complete? Because it seems incomplete. It's incomplete. It's, it's not, um, and this time I remember, giant panda. Not just a panda. Uh, it, it, this is not yet done. Um, so, so don't worry. There's lots of work to do here still, and I'll probably do that when I come back to... Um, 
to finish this and add the uh, red pandas or the pangolin. I'm not sure which one's going to come in here just quite yet. It's going to be one of the two. Uh, and that's when we'll we'll finish this structure off and, and, and everything. There's there's so much to do. And I think that's why I want to go back and uh, finish some of the old projects off uh, before starting any new ones. Because otherwise we're going to find ourselves constantly doing this where we... Uh, where we have to come back and and for like seven or ten episodes in a row have to um have to basically play catch up uh which i don't think is fun for anybody uh but i mean hey may maybe i'm wrong maybe maybe that's fun maybe five straight episodes of just finishing old things off is fun i'd rather finish everything off and then as we move forward it's just a matter of uh of uh Finishing off what we start, you know, maybe it's two sessions at a time or something like that. Uh, Viraj, let's go ahead and rename you. I, I hope that made sense. I feel like that didn't make any sense what I just said there. <laughs> Anyways, this should, we should get some really nice babies out of this because uh, Viraj is very high stats. Um, if we take a look at his stats, pretty good stats. Uh, and I believe you are the mom to be, Duck. I mean, she's got great stats. They, I think all these ladies have great stats. Avni, yep. All right, yeah. Decent. Longevity's kind of low. We could trade you out, maybe. We could trade you out, maybe. Or even release you to the wild. How much would that net me? 179, not bad. Go ahead and do that. Over here, what are we looking at? Great stats with Nithara as well. So, you know, there, there, there's there's some good stuff going on. And since we're over here, why not just check their enrichment as well? Pretty happy. Uh, rubbing pad could get swapped out. I believe they don't actually have that many... Um, toys, do they? I guess I can get the presented snack here. Let's make sure this is. Yeah. Put this down over here, maybe. There we go. That should do the trick. Viraj is new here, so everything's gonna be fresh for him. I really like how that works, where like, um, uh, new animals feel. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Oh, and the the the. Oh, that's cool. I didn't notice the food model for them was actually something special. Uh, but clearly, I need a feeding platform for these guys. Because they're not they're not eating off of a food tray. They're eating off the ground. There's one up there. We could add another one, I suppose. Make it two. Wrong one. Antelope, incorrect ratio. I'll sort that out in a second. There we go. So what's the deal here? Incorrect ratio. What are we looking at? 15 animals, lots of females, too many males. Uh, these guys are still young. We've got older, older men, older male animals. Oh, maybe it's just too many females. All right. Someone's got to go, I guess. So many good genes, though. What over there? Oh my god. I have to do a head-to-head. -head. It's like compare to, and the worst one gets uh, sent off. Let's see the wild. Yep. Away you go. Does that solve our problem? Wrong one antelope. Let's see what the ratio is over here. Um, and what it's supposed to be. We've got... What have we got? Five to two. Oh. Is it the male? Who's the other adult? You will... Oh, did Embrace just become the adult? Uh, whoops. <laughs> Embrace. Which one's Embrace? Your Embrace. Oh, those are great stats. Oof. 83, 83, 66, 83. Oh, Embrace is better. We're gonna Embrace, Embrace, I guess. Embrace is the new dad. And, uh, you'll... You'll be taken to a better place. Let's go ahead and trade you. We'll trade him out. And that'll be fine, I think. And let's take a quick peek now that the night has fallen. Let's take a quick peek over here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, oh my god. A little too bright, maybe. I was worried about that when I was putting these down. Let's do that. I was worried about that. That's what I wanted to kind of test. There we go. Now, I was kind of tempted to make them red, but I feel like there's already enough red here during the day. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe that would make more sense. Festive lighting and all that. Oh man, the glare off the uh, snow. There we go. That's much better. Infinitely better. And over here. 
man, I feel like the thing that's going to make me start a new zoo isn't so much that we want to move on, but it's that uh, the game just can't handle the uh, eliteness of uh, the elite zoo. <laughs> frame rate drops are... When we, when, when we zoom in and things get too uh, detailed, the frame rate drops are kind of rough. Uh, okay, so let's see. The, the Gharial got new stuff. The Crocs got new stuff. The Elephants got new stuff. Do the Tigers need new things? I mean, they almost definitely do. Just laying there lazy around here. Oh, she's about to pass away. That's the other thing as well. It's like I was talking about my animal uh, trading situation. A lot of these animals are... Uh, a lot of these... Uh, my, my, my West Bengal tiger trading situation. A lot of these animals are getting pretty old. Fire hose ball, sprinkler, scratching post. Okay, so fire hose ball, scratching post, sprinkler. Uh, and let's go ahead and get for the Bengal tiger. Um, let's go with toys, blood scent marker, and the rubbing pad should do the trick. Let's just see how you're feeling there, buddy. 86% is pretty good. Um, you probably send it sack as well. There. 100%. Crowd's thinned out here a little bit, but I guess there's other stuff to check out now. Other stuff that's accessible. Let's see how this area is doing. Oh, you know what? Problem solved, I think. Okay. Problem a little too solved here. Well, 60 second wait time is maybe a bit much. Uh, let's go with, let's maybe check don't block station and swap that to 30 seconds. I think now that we've got rid of the big, uh, group of people, it'll, it'll ease things up a little bit. Now, hopefully the exit being right in the middle over here as well is also going to be quite helpful. People have got energy. They're good. A little hungry. Got to use the washroom. A little thirsty as well. I might want to consider turning some of these, uh, monastery buildings into, um, food stalls and stuff. That, that, that thought has crossed my mind multiple times. Uh, one thing, uh, one other thing I wanted to do that was suggested in the comments, which I think is a great suggestion, hopefully it'll work, is I wanted to get a um, snow leopard blood scent marker up over here. Oh, funny that. The reason why I want it up over here is because I want to see the animals try to come up here. Uh, because they can climb it, they just aren't. Oh my god, you've been with us for so long. Our female gone. We have a male child. Oh my god, these genes are not good. Neither of their genes are good. We need a new uh, mum, though, it seems. Maybe we let this bachelor group. Uh, maybe, maybe when Solotl. Solotl? I think. Uh, when, when he becomes an adult, we'll get in a new female. Uh, what is their bachelor thing? Oh no, male bachelor group size is one. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, when he becomes an adult, we'll swap in uh, a female. We'll trade one of them out and, and swap in a female. That's quite unfortunate. Well, there comes the vet to solve that problem. What do we got over here? Vet research complete for snow leopards, I assume. Yep. Fantastic. Um, and the inspection is going well so far, as I guess expected. Not too surprised by that. We haven't hit 5,700 guests in a long time. I'm trying to figure out how to, how to hit that number. Uh, we've added new animals. We've... I guess I could lower ticket prices, but that's really not my idea of uh, the right move. Wow, look at that, actually. I mean, our we have been doing a lot of building, but our, our our income has dropped significantly. Or rather, our expenses expenses sorry have gone up. Our income has stayed pretty consistent. Our expenses, I guess, have have gone up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see how that plays out because that does make me a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Um, now do we maybe kick off another time lapse? How am I feeling? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Hmm. You know what? I think I can... I think I can accommodate it. More like a commodo... A commodo date? A commodo... More like a com... More like a commo a commodo date. More like a commodo date it. Oh my god. More like a commodo date it, right? Oh my god, that's that's not We'll start over. Alright, folks. We are here with the second time lapse of the day. A commodo date it. 
Jeez. Anyway, uh, there are a lot of ideas that I'm throwing at the Komodo dragon here. Um, I really want to be able to say that. Um, the, 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 the initial concept, there was a suggestion many, many sessions ago. Uh, and I, I mentioned, I, I, I give a bit more detail on this after the uh, the time lapse as well, but uh, the, the, the concept was like, hey, Komodo dragon, let's play on that whole dragon aspect. And uh, this time lapse actually ends up being a little bit on the short side because partway through, uh, the idea evolves in my head. So we're riffing on the whole dragon thing. So the idea is that this is its lair. I've built it a mountain. In that mountain, there will be a cave. And in that cave, there will be, you know, a, a pile of gold or something, treasures, treasure chests, things like that. Uh, and, uh, and, um, and, 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 and the Komodo dragon, you know, guards it, whatever. Uh, and I was happy with that. I think that's a really cool idea. And so I was, that's what I was building. And then as I was progressing through it and I put down these like teeth, you know, out of the train, as you can see, uh, and as I start, you know, sculpting more uh, elements into it, I start thinking, okay, well, what if it's, what if it's more than just a layer? And, and, I'll, and I'll show you exactly when that uh, change in mindset happens because uh, overall I'm happy with this. There's a little bit of water, you know, it can come out and swim, it can relax. Uh, there's some good viewing spots. Uh, I decide to get a, a little staff area over here with, uh, we've got a keeper hut, we've got uh, quarantine. I'm gonna put down a uh, staff room as well. So this is this is gonna be another little corner where people can hide out. I put down uh, stuff for water filtration and power as well. Great little corner we got over there. Uh, and then I wanted to put down the actual reach of this thing. So what I wanted to do today, because the idea was evolving in my head, was what I wanted to at least accomplish today is I wanted to get the animal in here and wanted to see if it was happy with the space it had, with the terrain it had, and with the um, and if it was able to escape. Uh, more on that later. Um, but yeah, so you can see, of course, I build in the uh, the gate over there. I give a little land bridge because I think the food, I think feeding is going to happen inside its lair. No, feeding will happen outside its lair. Maybe something else will happen inside. I, I got to figure it out. The lair is the hard shelter, so it will be spending time in there naturally. Maybe feeding will happen up top over there. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy with its overall, you know, size and shape and things like that. Um, but uh, at any point now, will will be the big change in my opinion you can see i kind of go in here and i realize i don't think the views are good enough yeah here we go it's like yeah you know i don't think the views are good enough let's let's add another viewing area and this became a whole like experience in my mind of like oh what if you could you know get on this bridge basically and move towards the dragon's lair and at this point i was like okay well what if the mountaintop had a fortress what if we had a tower what if we had all this like typical you know dragon related imagery what if we we did all that uh, and, and so I had to stop the time lapse because I was like, okay, I need to figure this out. So I'm going to get into that more uh, as this time lapse concludes. And I want to hear your thoughts as well. But I'm really excited for this enclosure. Lots of wild plans for this one. All right, folks, that's the time lapse done for now. Uh, I know it was a pretty short one, but um, basically, as I was as I was concluding it, as I was coming to its close, um, like, like uh, I'm, I'm nowhere near done. But at this point, I kind of went, oh, I've got a, I've got an idea that's a lot bigger than my initial idea was. But in order for me to, um, to pull it off, I'm gonna need a lot more time, and I want to actually s maybe even sketch out some plans. But let me, let me tell you what I'm thinking, uh, so I can hear your thoughts in the comments below, uh, or read your thoughts, I guess, in the comments below. It'd be pretty crazy if I could hear. A anyway, um. So, all right, the, the initial idea was from the comments, and I, I fell in love with it the moment I saw it first. Um, it was many, many, many sessions ago now. Uh, but the idea, it's, an, it's, a, it's a Komodo dragon, and so we're playing, we're riffing on the whole dragon aspect of it, so why not give it a cave where it's hoarding its treasures, and that's where it, that'll be its, like, hard shelter and things like that. So I really liked that idea, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's really cool. So I, I noted it down, and that's what I was, you know, that's how I started executing it. Built it a little mountain. Uh, obviously, it needs a little bit of work still. It's not, uh, it's nowhere near perfect. Um, uh, why am I, why am I? I'll, I'll, I'll do it in a time lapse when the time comes. Uh, so that, that was my initial thing. I was like, all right, cool. We'll make it a nice big mountain. It'll have, you know, it'll stand out in the corner there. It'll be a very unique piece in the corner. It'll kind of, you know, grab, it's a, it's a cornerstone. Uh, it'll, it'll ground us in the, at the side over here. Uh, and then as I was putting this down, I was like, you know, you don't, like, what if you're standing over here and the Komodo dragon's like over there, you're not really getting a good view. And then I was like, oh, how cool would it be if, you know, again, in in the real world it might be an extra charge or something or or maybe not but if you're a kid you get to like 
you know, come over here. Maybe I'll, maybe, oh no, oh my, the idea is getting even bigger and bigger. I'll see if I can actually build like a medieval town kind of a thing over here. Like what's our negative impact zone? Oh, I'm getting so pumped for this. Um, so the impact goes up to there. So maybe we build like a little medieval town over here and uh, extend it over here as well. That's a little weird because this is supposed to be Southeast Asia. And so doing like European medieval knights and stuff is a little weird. I don't know how I feel about that, but it'd be neat if like you could, you know, if you're a kid, you get a little wooden sword and wooden shield uh, or plastic shield maybe. And you know, like run, run down here and make this a full on experience. Um, oh, I don't know though. This is supposed to be Southeast Asia. I was going to give it a whole castle vibe, towers and everything. Uh, oh, now, now I got to think about it. Now I got to think about it. Because uh, dra dragon myth in... in in Asia is different from Dragon Myth in, in Europe, obviously. I gotta really mull over this. And and I think that's why I'm, I'm curious to hear your thoughts as well in the comments. But let's go ahead. One important thing I do want to do is I want to get the uh, the dragon in here. The dragon. I want to get the uh, Komodo dragon in here. Uh, at least one of them. So that I can see the uh, if it, any escape routes or anything like that. And we can also adjust terrain. We can look at the amount of space it has, etc, etc. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Komodo dragon. Uh, this is alphabetical. There we go. Boom. And I don't care if it's male or female. Filter should be off. Uh, 1800. Wow. Um, let's take a look at it by appeal here. 1500 is the highest? No. 1663? No. And let's only look at conservation credit listings. I don't need to um, limit myself to cash listings. Um, all right. And uh, might end uh, up in this zoo. Uh, those are decent stats on Enda, actually. Don't mind those. Gold ranked. This is the only page. Um, those top two stats are the main ones to look out for. Enda is looking like uh, the one to go with. Immunity is a little low, but that's okay. Let's go ahead. 1800 is not that bad. We've got money. We've got conservation credits, rather. So let's go ahead and adopt you. And as you will have noticed, I put down some new spots over here as well. So let's go ahead and drop you in here for now um actually you know what? let's go ahead and take you right into the habitat and we'll pull you into quarantine afterwards how about that we'll pull them into quarantine afterwards uh just the one for now we'll build the breeding pair but this again i'm trying to like change my methodology every once in a while to see what works best i know 50 episodes in still toying around with uh uh with with elements like that seems kind of strange but i want to see I want to see if they're able to escape because that's one thing I'm worried about with the moat as well. And this, yeah, this ended up becoming a moat. I might actually pull it all the way around the, the corner over here. Um, oh, I really need to figure out how I feel about about a uh, medieval European style um, piece down over here when we're about to have... It's a weird blend. You know what? I need to do a little bit more research. Uh, alpha fighting is okay. I need to do a little bit more research about... Um, uh, about Southeast Asian, uh, maybe castles and things like that. Because we can, what we can do is we can pull in the myth that many of us are familiar with in North America, where the zoo is situated. Uh, but we can style it to be like Southeast Asia. Uh, maybe, maybe. We'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm really torn right now. I'm really torn. While I was building this, I was like, oh yeah, this is, is going to be a great idea. And now I'm, now I'm torn. Uh, let's go put these bins down and now we've got the loop as well many of you have been mentioning for a while it's like hey you know if there was a loop if there weren't so many dead ends people might actually explore more of the zoo totally uh so hopefully now that'll help with that as well got to get some more benches down but once you do the orangutan exclosure exclosure enclosure <laughs> uh which will probably actually what i might do is build it over here and over here and make it a walkthrough um like i did in my little like tutorial video i did way when the way back when this game launched i did a, a walk through ape slash monkey i forget if it was monkeys or apes um enclosure so that's what i might do over here so i need to figure out styling for that as well is it going to be a jungle oh man could you imagine you've got like oh i'm starting to really like this corner um I, I, like you've got your like you've got your your fishing village right which uh which 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 is just a jungle apart from this fortress like it, it makes it, like it makes sense ah sorry i'm uh <laughs> getting too excited for an idea i might not even be able to execute so buddy's able to enter here which is good uh let's go ahead and yeah see this looks a little funny i don't like that this kind of stuff i don't like i don't like when things break like this so let's go ahead and fix this up 
Whoa. Um, reduce the intensity. Okay, up the intensity. I might need to adjust the barriers and stuff. Or is it because of the animal? Because the barrier is pretty far back. Let's go ahead and check if it's the barrier. If I pick you and move you, let's say over there. If I just get rid of you, can I adjust the terrain now? Yes. There we go. Do this kind of a thing. Do that kind of a thing. And we can do this. I've got my... Yeah, yep, yep. Easy to climb in there. I want to make sure our keeper can obviously get in here as well. Hence the little, um, you know, land bridge or whatever you want to call it. But he's buried right now, but that's okay. It's not going to last very long. Go ahead and delete that. Incomplete. It's because... I wasn't serious about this placement. Okay, let's just do this for now. It'll... Oh, no, it'll attach the wrong way. Oh, why did I have to... Come on now. There we go. There we go. Delete all that. Uh, make this all null barriers. Please and thank you. Make you a null barrier as well. And hook you up to this. We already hooked up over there. Um, Dangerous animal has not escaped. Stop saying silly things, game. Uh, let's go ahead and hook you up there. Cool. Oh, okay. The Okay, great. Not sure why that happened, but it happened. Alright. I was a little too eager to, to test this. Let's see, can I... Drink you down? Yes, I can. Do this kind of a thing. There we go. You're attached, I hope. Looks like it. Okay. You need to be a null barrier. All right. Before Buddy gets trapped in here, let's go ahead and put in the entrance. Done. All right, cool. Yeah, he'll just teleport out. There we go. All right, so... Uh... Oh, they look really weird. Overcrowding for... Oh, what? <laughs> Is he still... Basing his existence off the old... Yeah, okay, there we go. Teleporting him over. Alright, so a couple things to take care of. First of all, overcrowding with the saltwater crocodiles is not good. What do we got going on over here? Six animals, I guess. A bunch just became adults. No, we just have our second male, I guess. A Biasa. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say you're probably... Oh, wow. No, that's... Those are bad genes. Yeah, Vyasa to the Trade Center. Or not even, maybe release you to the wild. Decent. Alright, good stuff. And what else? What else is the issue here? Alpha status is fine. Review while we've been paused for so long. Okay, so here's what I need to check now. Here's what I need to check now. Is you... Okay, we're good. Oh, oh no, 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 no. This is not good. <laughs> Alright, so we'll have to adjust this so that our buddy cannot escape, obviously. Uh, and again, I could make, I mean, I could make this into wooden barriers, uh, cause those would look the part, oh, you can get out over here as well. How do you even get up here? Oh, I guess from over here. Okay. If I can find a way to cut him off. I don't necessarily want to. All right. Well, there's, there's stuff, there's stuff to work on over there, but, uh, we'll, you know what? I think we'll, I think we'll work on it next session. For now, I'm definitely glad we got the, the beast in here. The reason why I want to hold off on working on that stuff is because um, I need to figure out what my plan is. I, I thought I had... I'm so torn right now. They're such strange looking animals. Such strange looking animals. Um, I'm so torn. I'm so torn. Do I... See, because we could do fishing village, you know, for a village in, in, in the jungle uh, with the orangutan and stuff like that. And then we've got like a fortress but what are what are southeast asian fortresses like i need to do a little bit of research or do we go with like the medieval myth uh of dragons i'm torn i'm torn and i need your input folks so uh i hope you don't mind me now that's that's a very incomplete time lapse i know but i hope you all don't mind it's uh because i want to nail this because it's it's there's some cool ideas and i want to make sure we uh we get it right folks this is where we're going to call it a session Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. 
A massive thanks as well goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.